This episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrition Natural Food for Cats. Hi guys, I'm Amber Lee and this is Animalist News. Why are some marine mammals so big? Sperm whales and orcas top the charts as some of the biggest animals around, but the true giant is the blue whale. Weighing up to 190 tons, blue whales are two times the size of the biggest dinosaurs that once roamed the earth. In other words, they're not only the biggest living animal, but the largest that ever existed. That is crazy. Sci-fi movies lead us to believe that animals this large are people-eating beasts that destroy boats and wreak havoc, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, a blue whale can never even swallow a tuna, let alone a human. Despite their enormous mouths, their esophaguses are so small that they would choke on a loaf of bread. This adaptation, however, is partially the thing for the blue whale size. Their diet consists of tiny little crustaceans called krill and plankton. Now, as you can imagine, whales need tons of energy to stay healthy. I mean, they literally have a heart the size of a small car. So why do they choose some of the smallest animals to eat? Blue whales rely on a technique called lunge feeding, where they race towards a school of fish with their mouths wide open. Since krill live in absolutely huge groups, one mouthful can gulp down over a thousand krill, adding up to nearly 500 thousand calories. That would most certainly kill us humans if we tried to do that. Imagine drinking 1,000 milkshakes in a sitting. That sounds dangerously delicious. But even that is not enough to satisfy such a huge animal. On average, they need to eat about 8,000 pounds of krill and plankton a day. The trouble is, is that whales also numb up gallons and gallons of water they don't need. To get rid of it, blue whales filter the water out using teeth-like structures called baleen, which leave only the krill behind. Because whales don't want to constantly repeat this process, all day long, they've adapted these large mouths to get the most nutrition as possible at one time. Makes sense. With big mouths comes, you guessed it, big bodies. And because they eat so much so fast, they grow much more quickly than other mammals. So what about other marine animals? They don't only eat krill. Living in the water simply makes growing to a huge size possible. Think about when you get in a pool. You float, right? That's because the buoyancy of the water supports your weight. Even though whales are way bigger than us, the same principle applies. Unlike land mammals, marine animals have tons of room in their environment. They can float underneath and on top of one another because they're not fighting against gravity. Since they essentially have an unlimited amount of room to move around in, marine animals can grow huge without edging out other species. While humans may mock others for being on the larger side, whales know that being big can sometimes be awesome. Not only does it make them more intimidating to predators, but it also promotes increased intelligence because they can support a larger brain. I suppose whales themselves could grow indefinitely, but important organs such as lungs and kidneys can't. Once they reach a certain size, these organs are so small in comparison to the total body size that they simply stop working correctly. What small animal would be even cuter if it was ginormous? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to check out these other videos and subscribe. Come back every day for more animalist news. Bye. Thanks again to Rachel Ray Nutrish for sponsoring this episode.